The next time you're on an airplane heading to wherever it is you people go these days, I would hope that you take a good look at your pilot before taking your seat. Look into their eyes. And if what you see resembles a flickering flame wrapped in an abyssal, lidless stare, you may want to turn around and run. This is the dimension of artificiality in an area which we call the Lofty Lair. Light 666 by ChatGPT. In the darkest depths of a storm-ridden night, Flight 666 embarked on a journey through the tempestuous heavens, its wings slicing through the tumultuous seas of clouds. Captain Gabriel, a once virtuous pilot with eyes that once mirrored the boundless skies, now harbored a grotesque secret within the recesses of his soul. As the plane soared amidst the thunderous maelstrom, an infernal force, an entity born of Stygian chaos, cast its malevolent gaze upon the captain's tormented heart. It whispered vile incantations into his psyche, twisting his thoughts into a morbid symphony of madness. A wicked grin, as chilling as the eternal frost of Cocytus, etched itself across Captain Gabriel's countenance. He seized the intercom, his voice a cadence of lunacy as he uttered words that sent shivers through the souls of the passengers. Ladies and gentlemen, he purred his words, dripping with macabre glee. Let me entertain you with a riddle. What do you get when you blend turbulence with a recalcitrant engine? A one-way sojourn into the abyss, of course! <laughs> Nervous laughter danced within the confined cabin, a masquerade concealing the trembling unease beneath their fragile veneer of bravado. The passengers exchanged fretful glances, sensing the abhorrent discord within their captain's psyche. Captain Gabriel's voice echoed through the fuselage once more. I hope you savored your in-flight reprieve. For now, we embark on a descent to remember. Brace for the impending impact. <laughs> Chaos and pandemonium took root as the passengers clung to their seats, tethered to the plane's destiny by a thread as fragile as the delicate strands of Arachne's loom. The vessel convulsed and quivered, their hearts pounding in sync with the dread crescendo of their plummet. Then, against all preconceived notions of fate, the plane touched down upon solid earth, leaving its occupants baffled, but astonishingly intact. Bewildered gazes turned to the windows, revealing an apocalyptic panorama of torment. Before them unfurled a landscape hewn from the abyss, an accursed realm where rivers of seething magma wound through desolate plains. Grotesque fiends slithered in the Stygian shadows, and a sanguine firmament cast its spectral pallor upon all that lay below. The passengers had landed not upon Earth's embrace, but in the very bowels of hell. Captain Gabriel, now bereft of humanity, ascended with an infernal cackle. His visage dissolved into one of diabolical transfiguration, scales encasing his form, and eyes aflame with the baleful fire of Acheron's depths. Welcome, he hissed, 
to the abyss of your eternity, where dreams unravel into an interminable nightmare. A cacophony of terror erupted as the passengers comprehended their dire predicament. Flames uncoiled from hellish earth, embracing the plane and its ensnared souls in a searing, all-consuming inferno. They writhed, their agonized cries composing a dirge of torment, a requiem for the damned. Captain Gabriel, fully metamorphosized into a demon of malevolent dominion, reveled in their anguish. As the plane succumbed to the conflagration, he bore witness with perverse delight. For the forsaken souls were now his chattel, an unholy congregation for him to govern in an eternity of suffering. In the nethermost reaches of hell, where hope festered and despair reigned supreme, Captain Gabriel's fiendish laughter reverberated through the accursed abyss. A sinister refrain echoing the perpetual horror that had befallen the passengers of Flight 666. And as the infernal mirth waned, the demon's gaze sought another vessel, a pilot to perpetuate the cycle of terror. Thus, the nightmare continued, a tragic epic unfolding with each cursed flight as the malevolent force claimed anew its victims, ensnaring them in the infernal grip of their own unrelenting fear. For one to assume that Flight 666 was a unique tragedy in this fallen world, one would be no less naive than to foolishly ignore the reality of death itself. I would advise a road trip on your next pilgrimage. Stay out of the skies, in the lofty lair.